Hi there. Just wanted to give a quick look at the LG model LSE 5613 slide in range. Not a whole lot of information out there on this range, and that's why I wanted to do a little quick look at this range. Okay, yeah, it was delivered to me about a week ago. The guys brought it in. Uh, they come with these here little anti tip brackets. You can install against the wall to keep your range from tipping over. Uh, this thing's not tipping over. Uh, I guess if you uh, stood on top of the oven door, you know, maybe. Well, I don't think you can tip it over that way. You probably break the door off. Anyways, here's a look at it. Uh, the inside, first impression is wow. But you know what? It's been kind of like a feature when people come over. Everybody seems to like it. And it cleans out really, really quick. It comes with a nice little cleaning bottle as well. Uh, don't happen to have it in the room right at the moment, but anyways, um, glass cooktop. I've never had one before. They are a challenge to clean. Um, there are cleaners. I've used Barkeeper's Friend. Works quite nicely. Didn't, didn't scratch it at all. Uh, no matter what cleaner I use, when I'm done, I always keep a bottle of just straight vinegar around. Just give it a few squirts, wipe it off with a microfiber cloth, and it's nice and shiny all over again. Uh, as far as the front, um, you know, when you're cooking anything that splatters a lot of grease, it's going to get all over everything in the front here. But, nice thing they've done with this is you just pop the knob off. Easy to clean around it then. So all these knobs just slide off the same way. As well as to turn them on, some people had mentioned with these ranges that they turn them on by accident well not sure how you do it because you have to actually lean into it to turn it okay simple as that uh, with these two front burners you've got two different settings there's a single dot on the high here that's using just the inner burner and then on the other side there's two dots on the high and that side is using both burners. Just let, her, let her go for a second so you can see both burners on there. Okay, and you've got the back burner. You've got a warming zone in the center of the back. Um, controls on this side, you've got your oven control. You've got your back burner again. And you've got a super large front burner, which again, has the inner ring and the outer ring. You get a nice little chime every time you turn the heat on. As well as you've got a hot surface indicator. Now, that, you know, I only had that on for a second, so, you know, it's, it's warm to the touch. I'm a little surprised that the hot surface indicator hasn't come on at this point, but as soon as you put a pot on there, you'll, you'll get that that hot surface indicator will come on right away. Okay, here's your oven controls. Convention, convection bake. So when you've got it on convection bake or convection roast, it's using the fan in the back. Okay. The fan is right at the very back here. As well as your heating element is at the very back as well. And you've got a broiling element at the top. Okay, so when you want to uh, I'm going to turn this guy on, you um, you got a lot of different ways you can do it, okay, so, okay, so let's say I want to cook with convection bake, I can hit cook time, I can put in the time, okay, so I've got two minutes, I can press start, okay, now it's timing down for two minutes. Now, when you, when you do it this way, of course, you're not preheated yet. So we've only got 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Let's just stop this here. Okay, so your regular, when you turn it on convection bake, you want to start it, you press start. And it will start, the temperature gauge will start going up until it hits 350 and then you'll get... Uh, chime as well as the oven lights will flash on and off just to let you know that it's preheated 
Okay, you've got uh, start time, you've got clock, you've got a lockout feature. You just press and hold. Eh, maybe that's not the correct way to use that. I'll have to look at my manual. Eh, anyways, you got your timer. Okay. Your timer and increments, it goes really quick if you, if you hold it. Those are minutes. Again, with the timer you want it to count down, press start. Anytime anything on here is flashing, you have to press start or it's not actually activating. Okay, so I just turned the timer off. I'm just going to show you that one more time. So let's go to broil high. It's flashing broil. It's not actually, the oven's not working at this time. You got to press start. Okay, at that time, the broiler will start working. The indication there is showing three red lights at the top of the oven. That's just a, a little visual indication. Anyways, um, don't want to go over too much here. It's going to be a long video. This is the, uh, the little plate in the back, filler plate. Works out really nice. There's a little um, recess in the back for your where your plug would be. As long as your plug is in the right location, it tucks away so that your plug can actually, your range can actually push right in nicely to the wall. There is gaps on the side. Well, I, my countertops were 30 and one quarter inches from left to right. Uh, had they been 30 inches, it probably would have been a nice tight fit. However, um, there's ways around that. I don't know if I want to put a silicone bead in there or not. I could do that, but you know, food will get trapped in the silicone as well. I think it's just as easy to uh, slide your range out once in a while, clean it up. Let's look at the side fit. There's a little drawer at the bottom here. Actually, it's not too bad. You can fit a couple of bigger pans in there. But the nice thing is the actual range itself is it's a huge inside we did three sheets of cookies in here just before christmas and uh they turned out great you know piled one sheet on one rack another on the second and then the third on the third rack and it worked out really well anyways um there's another model uh this is the canadian version this model number uh the american version I'm not sure what the number is, but it's slightly different, but it is the Pro Bake by LG. All right, thanks for watching.